Hi Cancer, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your October sex and love messages. So um, this is going to be a disclaimer that I'm going to be, you know, using a lot of profanity, a lot of sexual dirty talk. So if you're offended by that or that's just not your forte, you know, you can always click off. <laughs> so I'm warning you now. All right. Let's see what's going on with my Cancers for October and love and sex. We're going to start with the love aspect first. And then things will start to pick up and get a little freaky. Ooh, first card that came out is romance. Then we have miracles and blessings. And then we have action speak louder than words. Yikes. All right, so let's start with romance. We have... Lavish the one that you love with your personal attention and affection. Ooh. Lavish them. Shower them with your love. Put your love juice all over them. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but you know what I mean. It's kind of like saying, you know, spoil your significant other, you know, with personal attention and affection. Give them that extra... The extra rub down or the extra lovey dovey action. Give them breakfast in bed and do the most for your person, you know, dance together. This will spark up the romance too. This will get things nice and hot and, and ready like little Caesars. <laughs> then we have miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Yes, everything does have its gift. So whether you are in a relationship, okay, the gift where maybe someone got laid off and you're using this time just for a few weeks or whatever, a few days, you're using this time, that's a gift. Have some alone time, turn it into something positive instead of thinking negative. Always think positive when it comes to stuff like that because, you know, it gives you the opportunity to spend a little bit more quality time, get to know each other, get to um, do the things that you do, that you can do when you're always busy and stuff like that. So it could be anything. Like it says, everything has its blessing. We have um, action speak loudly. Express your love through your actions. Okay. Um, it's pretty much saying walk the walk instead of talking the talk you don't want to just promise something these you know oh we're gonna go on a date on these days and and you'll swoop them up off their feet and make them feel special and yet when those days come nothing ever happens so it's kind of like don't don't say shit if you don't mean it you know if you want to be have time for romance you want to have time to get it on and get freaky and stuff like that make sure you are actually doing those things okay so just like that. Actions speak louder than words, boo. All right, we're going to pull some cards from the fortune reading. Fortune reading cards for my cancers. We have lion, love, and flowers. So let's start with lion. It says harness the loyal... And protective aura of the lion and charge ahead magnific magnific magnificently. Oh my god, I can't say it. <laughs> you know what I mean. This card came right on top of the romance card. So go ahead, charge ahead. Okay, it's kind of like coming at your significant other like a lion. Ready, hot and ready. Put uh, Unleashing the beast in them in bed and in romance. Mm-hmm. Showing who, ch showing each other who boss is, who's daddy, who's mama, who's in charge here. Being aggressive. Someone could like aggressive sex. Someone could like to... Someone could be very overprotective, especially in bed. Someone you could be dealing with a specific person, or you will be, that's very overprotective, who likes to be very in control, who likes to take charge. And you can find that very sexy. You also hold those type of qualities too. Then we have the love card. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forward positively in all areas of your life. Right underneath the miracles and blessings. Okay. Love surrounds all your connections. Move forwardly positively in all areas of your life. So, look at that. Okay. So, 
if you let's say you got in a, you were in a breakup okay and now you're just out there dating or whatever and finally you start you know letting go of the old resentment shit and you start focusing on you and you start focusing on being positive and, and attracting love um it's telling you that you're moving forward positively and that's what's that's bringing a magnet it's you're kind of like a magnet and you're bringing in the hot stuff if you know what i mean um if you hear my niece that she's speaking in the background niana go watch the movie baby then we have flowers it says be generous success and emotional fulfillment are yours be generous success and emotional fulfillment fulfillment are yours so actions speak loudly right on underneath so you are getting if you have been manifesting you know a renewal in your relationship or you have been wanting something to blossom to grow you could be growing together with your partner and even though you have you've been through the hard the hard and the bad and all that shit it's kind of like saying just like a flower you guys you guys start from the bottom in the darkness and you make your way up to the light it's kind of like a flower you blossom you grow together you build your empire together so success and emotional fulfillment this is having it all okay this is the job having the man having feeling emotionally content it's kind of like the ten of cups in a way being happy some of you will be meeting someone who who makes you feel extremely happy and they could have it all so let's get some cards here from the romance angels Ugh, that flew right out true love this is the romance of a lifetime Ooh, you could be meeting the one someone who's very special someone who brings out the best in you who unleashes the beast mm -hmm. you could be getting it on with someone or finding someone who is just as sexually attractive as you are you met your match it's, it's true fucking love okay you're divinely guided by the angels you have the an angels surrounding you you could be with someone who's very very good looking ah okay that one came out we have retreat Okay, it's time to disconnect from the world. Spend some quality time. This could mean that you guys are planning on traveling, going places, uh, going on a honeymoon for those who are just married, um, disconnecting from social media and just spending some quality time together. And that's funny that it came underneath the car where it says miracles and blessings. The love, how I was talking about, you know, if, for example, like if someone got you know laid off for a while and you get to spend more time with your boo that's a blessing right there that's your retreat that's your honeymoon time so you got to turn every negative situation into something positive okay we have flirt <clears throat> extend your light-hearted energy to others yep that's exactly what you're going to be doing you're flirting more having fun letting loose um, getting kinky and shit, you know, dressing up, even if you're in the house, dress up or wear his t-shirt with nothing but his shirt on, no underwear, cooking, which is walking around with your booty sticking out, don't matter. Have some fun, spice it up, you know, turn it into a fucking, a night to remember and make that an everyday thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right, so let's get some sexual cards for Cancer in October. Diana, go up there. Oop, this one wants to come out. Oh, two came out. All right, well, let's see. Well, 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 we have the Knave of Bubbly, which is the Knave of Cups. See that? Oh, yeah. This is like punishing you for being a naughty bad girl. Someone can get a little smart. You guys could have, you know, someone who you're talking back to back and forth and you guys get playful and they finally bend you over and smack you and you like it. And then you guys, you know, just have fun flirting and shit. They could have, this could be you because it's, you know, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces. You could be into that kinky shit, you know, if you know what I mean. You match your match. I'm telling you, someone's going to be entering your life or who's into those kind of things as you are. Then we have the Two of Wands. The Two of Wands came out reversed, okay? This is like trying to make a decision about your future and stuff. I feel like someone already did, 
uh, you don't have to look to the future anymore. You know what you want. And this is the person that you want to be with. And you guys are, you know, using this time to, I don't know if you guys want to make a baby, extend your family is what I'm seeing here for some of you. I don't know why I'm seeing uh, February babies for some reason. Or if you, let's say you were with someone and you met somebody else that made you extremely happy, you made your decision on who you want to be with. And that's the one that you're messing with now. That's why you're here wanting to know about them because you're at a crossroads and that's your true love. This person, you know, brings out the, the beast in you. You know what I mean? Okay. So we have the sun card. Okay. Look at that. Sun, sun, sun. So because this came out reverse when I pulled it out, some of you, like I said, you will be leaving a marriage. If you're not leaving, leaving a marriage, some of you are, or you're just unhappy in your marriage and you're looking for sex elsewhere, or the person you're dealing with is doing that, there's probably infidelity. Um, I feel like some of my cancers are not ha sexually happy or fulfilled. And their relationship or the lately if you're single you've been sleeping around and it's just not just not what you've been looking for you know you're you haven't been really pleased sexually pleased you're looking for something more exciting something more sexual and passionate and affectionate then we have temperance yeah you see temperance and this card and this deck represents sexual healing Someone needs that sexual healing. Look at this guy underneath giving her head. Like he's just eating her out like nothing. She's just doing her thing. You know, being fulfilled. <laughs> this is what someone needs. You're not sexually happy. You need that sexual healing. This is what you are going to be looking for. Some of you are looking for that. And you found the person that gives you that. You will be leaving someone for that person. For those who are in that scenario. Others of you, you just haven't had sex in a while. And you are in need of some sexual healing. And it's coming. It's coming. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles reversed. This talks about a couple who... This talks about a person who likes to... When you're having sex... As soon as they're done, they don't want to continue. They don't want to finish you off. They don't want to pleasure you. It's just done. And I feel like you're getting tired of that because you deserve love. You want to get finished. You deserve that sexual healing. It's kind of like they got their relief. Now, what about you? So I'm, I feel like you're getting tired of that. And maybe you need to communicate about that. Because that's how, you know, cheating occurs and stuff like that. So... Okay, we have, ooh, we have the strength card. So with the strength card, for some of you who are dealing with someone who is, goddamn, someone who knows how to keep going, who stays strong in sex. This is somebody who can go on and on and on. They have that sexual energy, the sexual power. They have the strength to continue. Even after they've came, they could still go on and on, you know? Come after come after come. Like, this is someone who, who has that, sexual strength and i feel like that turns you on you like that or you're looking for someone with more strength and their um mojo yeah i'm hearing that some of you are dealing with someone who just loves sex and they want it all the time and you have to have the strength and the courage to like and the energy to keep up because you're like god damn this person just can go on and on <laughs> Hey, that's that's not that's not a bad thing. Let me change the deck really quick. All right, ooh, we have the lovers. Some of you are dealing with the Gemini. This is uh, representing the Gemini. This could also represent a choice that someone needs to make. Uh, in regards to needing to take, if you want to stay with them or not, if you want to have a have a marriage with them, if you need to stay with them, keep it going, or, you know, you just want to paint a pretty picture in your life with this person is what I'm seeing here. Wow, look what came out again. The sun reversed. So, 
some of you are dealing with it could be a gemini that you're not happy with right now okay um because we have the sun that came out twice reversed twice someone is not getting sexually pleased like i said with the six of pentacles reverse it's yeah there's no equal give and take take when it comes to this relationship someone is always giving and giving and the other person is just taking and not giving it back so that could be a little depressing and that could be you know pissing you the fuck off so if this is a gemini you're dealing with that's doing that to you i can understand why you're frustrated and you could be you know looking somewhere else i feel like someone else has an eye on you and they see you as someone like wow they want to get you naked they want to paint a pretty picture of you <laughs> no i'm just kidding i could i could also see you like um Oh, some of you are finding pictures of the person that you're dealing with, like naked pictures or finding nude pictures of other women in their phone. And you're just like freaking out. I don't know why I just saw that. Okay. Uh, we have the three of air. Yeah. Three of swords. That could be that thing that I just told you. You finding out that, you know, they have pictures of naked women or other women on their phone here. Because I see that, and then as soon as I said that, the Three of Swords came out, which represents heartache, depression, unhappiness with the Sun card reversed. Maybe you caught somebody, and now it's just like you are sad. You don't want to, and it makes you kind of feel disgusted. Look how she's just holding on to her vagina or whatever, and she's just like, oh, I feel so. I don't want to sleep with them anymore because I feel like they're sleeping with other people and that disgusts me. I'm not, I'm not happy about that. That's for, you know, some of you. Ah, shoot. Something flipped over. What is it? I hate it when that happens. Oh, yeah. Two of Pentacles. Someone's definitely juggling more than one person. This could be that Gemini or that person that has been, you know juggling two people more than two people or this could be you that in the future you will be juggling more than two people and that has to be a decision that you have to make okay this person could be looking somewhere else they were probably into blondes no i'm just kidding just because i saw a blonde <laughs> all right yeah they could be you know you see how he has a work shirt at work and stuff they could be telling you they're going to work and then they're out there like fucking around with other women and shit like that for sex or they're out there for you know traveling for business but yet they're doing it for pleasure at the same time if you're dealing with a, a successful person they could be you know going out there and traveling for pleasure and not business like they say <clears throat> We have the strength card again. This is the second time the strength card came out. Okay. This is someone. <laughs> this is someone who can go on and on and on like Don King Kong. Okay. Where's that other strength card? Right here. That's twice that the strength card came out. You see how she's holding on tight to that penis? Like this is someone who can go hard and long. They have that sexual power. And that's probably why it's a hard, it's hard for you to let go of this person because the sex is good for some of you. Okay, that's what you like. Maybe that's what you're craving. Someone who can go on and on. <laughs> Fucking hanging on that shit like Tarzan. Look at that. Holding on to the penis. <laughs> God damn. All right. Any more for cancer? Any more for cancer? Whew. Yeah. Oh, okay. So some of you also with the strength card, some of my cancers are nymphos. You guys are fucking nymphos and you just want it all the time. You just won't let go of the damn dangling. Like, God damn, you sleep with it under your pillow. You take a shit with it. You eat with it. You do all kinds of things with it. You refuse to let it go. Because you are an info and you want it all the damn time. And this person has to have the fucking strength. Maybe take Viagra just to put up with your crazy ass. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> Alright. Any more cards? Any more cards? 
Ooh, the Empress. You are in charge and control. You're someone who's who gives birth to your dreams, who's very nurturing. I feel like some of you uh, Cancers have been giving this person or someone that you're dealing with chance after chance after chance after chance and they're always trying to beg you i'm sorry and there you go forgiving them trying to put your foot down just you know maybe they kiss ass to you for a little bit but that's only for them to continue repeating the same cycles over and over again you cannot you know turn a player into a, a house husband or a hoe into a housewife or something like that well sometimes you can you know no offense, I'm just saying you could. But this is kind of like you always constantly having to forgive somebody in their player ways. So because you have a good heart, this person continues to do what they want because they know you're still going to be there. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, I'm going to pull some cards off of the Lover's Oracle. soulmate your soulmate is already with you in spirit believe this and they will manifest physically look at that oh yeah bitches if you are have been you know you're not happy with dating and stuff like that you just want to settle down okay you just gotta pretend they're already with you visualize it pretend they're sleeping right next to you wake up in the morning happy that you're gonna cook for your man and if, believe me, you will attract that energy. You will send out that vibration off your body. And it'll it'll attract the right person into your life. It says, when you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul. And the memories you have shared with those around you love. So that is why I feel like you, you find yourself always constantly forgiving this person over and over again. Because you know that life is too short and you don't care sometimes you don't you you hate that they're like that you hate that certain people are like that and you hate that you're very forgiving at times because you're the one that ends up getting hurt especially with the three of air here which is the three of swords you find yourself hurting constantly and so i feel like you're gonna get out of that where you just a, a woman and a man can only take so much so after a while you become i don't want to say numb or jaded I just want to say that you just become, you know, you start to step up to your game. You start to put your foot down and you start to start, you know, becoming more like the empress. All right, let's see. Yeah, taking back your power like the empress. You see that? Power. It says you instinctively know what is right for you and you have the power to say no or to walk away at any time. You see? You have the power to walk away and say no, no more chances. No, I'm not going to forgive you anymore. No, no, no. I have the power. Just like the Empress. Okay? So that's your message for October. This was your love and sex message. Please give it a thumbs up. Please like, share, and subscribe, babies. And I will see you in your next video. Bye, guys.